Hi guys, um, today I wanted to talk about uh, how to gear your Fire Monk. Uh, you'll probably see on my YouTube channel there's already a Fire Monk video up. Um, if you follow the link in the description to the forum post as well on the, um, the Diablo forums, uh, you'll also see a lot of um, interesting points that have been brought up by the community. Uh, alternatives for certain um, skills that are currently being used in the build. There's a couple of builds there which don't involve using spirit generator at all, which are called pure spender builds. Um, and there's a lot of interesting points, as I said, that have been been brought up. So don't forget to check out that forum post. Uh, so I'm going to show you what gear I'm currently using um, and what gear I don't currently have, but I'm working towards. Um, there's a couple of pieces which are sort of integral to a, a fire monk build, and I'll walk you through them as uh, as I highlight them. I'm currently using the Inner's Helm along with the Inner's Belt, uh, which gives you 250 dexterity for the two piece and 124 life per spirit spent. Um, the extra survivability from the uh, the life per spirit spent you get from the two piece on Inner's is uh, is great. Um, I'm finding the sustain uh, to be very very useful considering I'm lacking the CC uh, that a Lightning Monk build obviously offers with Scorpion Sting on their Lashing Tail Kick, uh, so that's helping me out. Um, it's quite a good helm. It's, it's lacking some um, vitality. However, I do have that socket with the uh, the amethyst in it. Um, one off of, of max dexterity and some great all res there. Um, for your fire monk helm, what you really want uh, is a Genash Nakashu or a GNK, as uh, you'll see it called across the forums. Uh, what the GNK allows you to do is every time you use lashing tail kick which is obviously the main spirit spender of this build and of a lot of monk builds. Every time you lashing tail kick, you send out a fireball. Uh, this is guaranteed, there's not a chance, it's every time you lashing tail kick, it will send this fireball out. Uh, this fireball will independently crit from your lashing tail kick, uh, so it can also crit, and it will deal anywhere, I believe the rolls are between 280 and 370% weapon damage uh, as fire. Um, I'm not sure whether the, the fireball itself scales with your plus fire damage. Uh, I know there are some things that do and there are some things that don't. Uh, like for instance the Thunder Fury prop does not scale with your lightning percent damage. However, uh, after several tests, um, Odin Sun lightning damage, the chain lightning from that, does still scale with your lightning damage. Um, so I'm not sure whether the GNK's fireball does scale with your percent uh, fire damage, but if it does, it makes it even better than it already is. Uh, so that was that's what you would be after um, uh, in particular. Um, for my locket, I'm still using my Ouroboros, which, if you've seen my Gearing Your Lightning Monk video, is exactly the same Ouroboros, except for I've just re-rolled two fire skill damage, uh, which is great. This um, this necklace that I'm currently using is, is very, very strong. Uh, I have a Countess Julia's cameo, which I switch out for um, uh, if I'm taking arcane damage or if there's, uh, there's champs at higher torments, which is doing lots of arcane damage. I switch that out. Um, but this Ouroboros has, has rolled so well, the health globes, um, which that adds to your transcendence as well, so I'm getting even more life per spirit spent back. Uh, good crit hit damage, max crit hit chance, reasonable dexterity roll, um, and 25% reduction of crowd control effects as well. Um, so it's a good necklace, I've just re-rolled that to, uh, to fire damage. You want any necklace really that has got uh, percent fire damage on it, or that has got um, good base stats like a dexterity, crit hit damage, crit hit chance, uh, and then roll your fire skills damage onto it if you're lacking it. Uh, you also see that uh, I'm still using my strong arm braces. I've just re-rolled fire skill damage onto that as well. Uh, they're not great dexterity rolls, they're not great vitality rolls. Uh, it is a max crit hit chance roll, and I am stacking arcane resistance. Um, so this does help me quite a bit in, in other areas. Uh, so despite the dexterity being low, I've got 19% fire skill damage. Um, and also I'm still using Deadly Reach as my spirit generator. Uh, now Deadly Reach in conjunction with Strong Arm Braces, for those who don't know, uh, the knockback um, that is on Strong Arm Braces is also triggered by the knock up, which is on Deadly Reach. Um, so me using the knock up on Deadly Reach allows enemies to take 27% extra damage, which is a lot more damage from your, uh, your Lashing Tail Kicks, obviously. Um, this is one part which is very, very integral to uh, a Fire Monk's build, is Syndicate. Uh, this is one of two main pieces to a Fire Monk's build, um, and the reason why Syndicate is so important is that it rolls with fire skill damage on it. Uh, not only does it roll with fire skill damage on it though, it also rolls as a secondary, reduces the resource cost of your fire skills by a certain percentage. Now I believe this is between 20 and 30% that it rolls, 
Um, but reducing the resource cost of all your fire skills allows you to, to spam more lashing tail kicks. Um, it's it, it's fantastic. I mean, especially if you're uh, if you're using one of the pure spender builds, uh, which I mentioned earlier, uh, coming up on the forums, uh, where you use no spirit generator at all. Um, then this is fantastic because obviously you want to be using less resources for your fire skills, uh, so that you're never running out of spirit. Um, so Syndicate is very, very crucial. As you can see, I haven't got the greatest dexterity rolls or vitality rolls, but that doesn't really matter. Um, I've got max fire skill rolls and that, the reduction of resource costs as well, and the three sockets which I've put um, those flawless royals into as well. So that's uh, that's great. Uh, I'm currently using the Mantle of the Upside Down Sinners and uh, the boots as well, which I'm also using for my, uh, my lightning set. I'm using these two because uh, they're very strong by themselves. Uh, you can see from these boots, they've got uh, great stats on them. Unfortunately, they didn't roll with uh, vitality on them, so I had to roll to get some vitality. Otherwise, I would have taken the movement speed and made that lashing tail kick. Uh, in an ideal world, you will want boots with dexterity, vitality, all res, and lashing tail kick damage. Um, and the secondary on that, obviously, I've got health globes and potions as well, which um, adds towards my transcendence and a bit more survivability. Uh, I'm using the, uh, the boots and the shoulders together to get that 500 dexterity bonus. Um, if you have seen my other video as well, you'll also um, notice that I'm still using the same depth diggers. Uh, they seem to be really strong at the moment. Um, I actually got these a long, long time ago. These are about three to four weeks old now. Um, I think they're about three about three weeks old, these legs. Uh, I got them as a gamble from Kadala before any buffs were made to her at all. Uh, and they just rolled really well. Good dexterity, good vitality, good resistance, uh, two sockets, and some life after kill, which is... Um, uh, you know, great for your survivability as well. I had no life after kill at that point, and I've also got some life after kill on my uh, my belt as well. Now, for your belt uh, as a fire monk, um, you really want to use, uh, like for instance, a Harrington waist guard. Harrington is uh, is very very good um, for every breakable um, that you smash, or for uh, for every um, sorry, not a breakable you smash. If you open a chest or if you click on a corpse, uh, any clickable in the game um, will increase your damage by a certain percentage depending on what it's, it's rolled on the belt. You can also use a fleeting strap, for instance. The new Witching Hour is fantastic. Uh, someone also mentioned to me the other day that there's a, a belt which discharges fire, I believe, um, when you get hit um, or when you deal a critical, it, it, it discharges fire. Um, either something like that. There's also a belt which I believe that scales with plus fire damage, so be on the lookout for that. Um, I will mention it in my next video. I will um, I will look into that. Uh, as rings here, I'm using a, uh, a wailing host. Um, it had good rolls on it. The dexterity. I re-rolled the crit hit damage to be slightly higher, max crit hit chance, and the increased damage um, against elites is only four percent, which in comparison to like a, a stone of Jordan is quite low. But it's still extra damage against elites. And uh, come the higher torments, that's what really, really will matter, and it will help you scale your damage a lot. Uh, currently using the Stone of Jordan, my other 16% um, fire skill damage. It's uh, not a fantastic roll. The increased damage against elites by 25%, which is the lowest roll. Um, but uh, additional maximum spirit is a secondary. I'm still trying to re-roll the uh, the black damage that I've got on the Stone of Jordan as well to um, to crit hit chance. Um, that's what I want. Ideally, is I'd like that 6% max crit hit chance on my Stone of Jordan. Um, it's not a, a fantastic roll, but Stone of Jordan is so, so strong that you could get a really, really poor one. But the increased damage against elites being a minimum of 25% is so, so much. Um, if When you find a Stone of Jordan, I suggest that you uh, you go and find a champ pack in a, in a rift or a bounty, and you lashing tail kick them a couple of times without the Stone of Jordan on. Then put the Stone of Jordan on, find another pack, and you will notice the difference. Um, Stone of Jordans are so, so strong for almost every single class because of how elemental damage is so strong at the moment. Um, I'm currently using as gloves Pride of the Invoker. These are just a really good roll. Uh, lots of dexterity, lots of vitality, lots of crit hit damage and max crit hit chance. For gloves, you want Mage Fist. Um, you definitely, definitely, definitely want Mage Fist for several reasons. One, it's the only gloves in the game which roll five primary properties. Five primary properties. One of those is guaranteed to be fire skill damage. So that's one thing out of the way. Out of the other four then, you've got a chance to ideally have perhaps dexterity, vitality, crit hit damage, crit hit chance. If you do get those four um, and your vitality is fine, you can perhaps um, 
sacrifice the vitalities, get attack speed, and get trifecta gloves. Uh, or if they roll with trifecta, or if they roll with uh, attack speed and critted damage and vitality, you can get the vitality to chance. Uh, but mage fist is what you want because it has fire skill damage on it and five properties. So mage fist have the potential to be absolutely fantastic. Um, so that's what you want to look out for. Uh, weapons wise, I'm still using my Mad Monarch Scepter and my Thunder Fury. Thunder Fury proc is um, incredibly strong, um, and Mad Monarch's uh, proc after killing 10 enemies, you do a massive amount of weapon damage as a huge poison. Nova is uh, fantastic as well. However, neither of these weapons are what you want. Um, I'm not Diablo's biggest fan at the moment, and Diablo's not my biggest fan at the moment when it comes to any sort of weapon drop. It doesn't matter what it is. Any weapon I seem to find seems to be uh, either a sever, um, uh, a sky cutter I found the other day, so I'm, uh, I'm looking into sort of like a, a holy spec in places. Um, but lightning weapons or fire weapons, they just don't seem to be dropping for me. So I'll let you know exactly what you do want. Ideally, uh, I would say that you want a burning axe of Sankis as one of your weapons. Uh, Burning Axe of Sankis has a, um, a proc chance on it. I'm not sure what the uh, the proc chance is of the internal cooldown, but it has a chance for you to um, fight through the pain uh, when you take damage from enemies, which is a chance uh, to essentially ignore the damage. Uh, it's sort of like an ignore pain from, um, from barbarians. Uh, but what Burning Axe of Sankis does give you is fire skill damage. Um, so you'll have your fire skill damage, uh, your base damage roll, hopefully dexterity, and hopefully a socket. That's what you will want to aim for. You want a good damage roll, good fire skill roll, high dexterity, and a socket for your crit hit damage gem. Uh, for your other weapon, you really, really want a Sunkeeper. Um, a Sunkeeper is a mace which increases the damage against elites. Uh, it can potentially increase the damage against elites um, up to, I believe, it's 25%, which is a huge amount of damage against elites. Yet again, it's uh, the top end roll of a Sunkeeper is the bottom end roll of a Stone of Jordan, which is um, very, very strong. And the more damage against elites, as I said, it's going to be uh, an easier time when you come to the high torment difficulties as well. So ideally, you want a Sunkeeper, the damage against elites being a reasonable roll, a good weapon damage roll, dexterity, and a socket. You can also craft something called a Devastator. Let me show you uh, here what the Devastator is. You will need to find the recipe for it, which is just a, uh, a standard recipe that you would, um, you would normally find. And it gives you fire skill damage, which yet again is fantastic. Um, don't be worried that you're going to be using a, a slower uh, speed weapon, because it's the elemental damage that we're really, really after. And generally, slower speed weapons have a higher min-max damage. Um, and so you always want, in your main hand, the weapon that has the highest maximum damage. Because that is the average weapon damage that will be taken for your skills, to calculate how much damage your skills are doing. So with a Devastator, you'll have your, uh, your primary fire damage roll, your fire skills damage roll, anywhere between 15 and 20%, and four random properties. Ideally, you want two of those random properties, again, to be dexterity and a socket. Um, I will go into a little bit more detail in another video about Devastate, about how to farm the maps, uh, mats for it. It's only going to be a short video, uh, but it's a little way that I've found that you can um, you can farm the, the Shattered Core for it pretty well. Uh, in other weapons that you can use, you can also use uh, a Maximus. Now what Maximus is, is a two-handed legendary sword. And what it does is its unique proc is has a chance on hit to summon a demonic slave. Now, I'm not sure what the proc chance is of this, but if I haven't got a Demonic Slave and I hit something, it summons a Demonic Slave. So it must be pretty, pretty high. Uh, ideally, with Maximus, uh, what you want is, yet again, a high fire damage um, uh, roll on it. This this damage isn't isn't that high, to be honest, it has the potential to be a lot more. Um, and Maximus also has fire skill increased damage on it as well. Um... The disadvantage to using Maximus in comparison to the two single-handed weapons, as I said, is that you don't get the increased damage from uh, against elites that you would on Sunkeeper, and you can also get, say you get a max roll of fire skills, deal 20% more damage on Maximus, you can also get that out of Burning Axe of Sankis. So, all in all, for output, uh, Burning Axe of Sankis in one hand and Sunkeeper in the other is probably going to give you uh, the most elemental damage 
and the most uh, raw output, especially against the elites. But Maximus is another good choice if you do come across one uh, with dexterity and a socket on it. Don't discard it. Don't think, ah, oh, it's a two-handed weapon. And when you equip it, when your sheet DPS goes down, don't think to yourself, oh, no, I'm going to be doing a lot less damage, because you won't be. The Demonic Slave does fire damage. It scales with your percent fire damage. It hits very, very hard. You also have a chain linking you and the Demonic Slave, which works just as fire chains do on champ packs. So as you pass through, it will also do damage. Uh, so there's my guide on uh, gearing your fire up, guys. Best of luck with loot. I hope you find something, because I sure as hell don't. Um, and stay tuned for, uh, for more Monk videos. By all means, check out my social media links, which you'll find at the beginning and the end of the video, and also in the description below. Thanks for watching, guys.